Hi everybody, welcome back to my channel. I got another advent calendar unboxing to share with you and this time it's a boozy one. It's a gin advent calendar. This is what it looks like. So there's 24 windows in here and inside each contains a dram of gin. Now this is by the Boutique Gin Company which can be purchased for £49.99 on the masterofmalt.com website. All details and everything related to this advent calendar I'll pop down below in description. So underneath this video so you show more, click that, that'll bring up description and everything will be listed down there. So reading a little bit of a description about this advent calendar for you, it says the Boutique Gin Company and Drinks by the Dram have teamed up for another year to bring you a fantastic fantastic festive treat. Behind each of the 24 windows you'll find a different 30ml wax seal dram of stupendous gin from the world's first independent gin bottler. Whether it's made in collaboration with some of the best distillers around the globe or simply a brilliant idea from the boutique bunches brains, this advent calendar will certainly make for a lip smacking Christmas countdown. This advent calendar was kindly gifted to me by Drinks by the Dram. They got in touch with me a couple of weeks ago asking if I'd be interested in reviewing a advent calendar which was either gin or whiskey or vodka I had a look and yeah it's hands down gin I absolutely love gin it's my favorite it's my favorite of the spirit so I went for it and I'm really really excited to see what's inside obviously I won't be doing a taste test because oh, that would be wrong <laughs> it'd be like no I'll have lots and lots of unsubscribers <laughs> I'll be showing you exactly what's inside each day as we go along and then I'm going to pop them back in and I'm going to save it for December so that I can have a little gin every day of the month leading up to Christmas. So let's get on to open it up and see what we've got inside. So number one down here. Oh, I can't open it. I'm going to have to get little um, scissors. Hold on. Scissors really handy. So in day number one, oh my gosh, that is so cute. That is so cute. It's a cucumber melon gin. Oh my gosh, cucumber and melon. Is that what it is? Yeah, London dry gin. Uh, 3CL and it's 46% volume. So it's a cucumber melon gin. <laughs> Do you know what? I am going to actually open one up. At the end of this video, I'm going to open one of them up and I'm going to try it, see what it's like. So, yeah. So that's day number one. Number two down here. Ooh, so we've got, what have we got? These bottles are super cute. I just love them. I love that they've got like this wax sort of melt up here. This is strawberry and balsamico. <laughs> so it's strawberry and balsamic gin. Wow. Wow, wow, wow. So that's day number two. And exactly the same CLs and the same volume as well, 46%. So yeah, that is gorgeous. I absolutely love these. So number three up here. And we got, what's this? This is a clear one. Oh, it's chocolate cherry gin. Oh my gosh, I just want to sniff them. Can I sniff them? Oh yeah, I can. I can. I didn't think I would be able to, but they're, not, <laughs> they're easy to sniff. Oh, <laughs> they go right up my nose. <gasps> Oh my gosh, that is, yeah, it's just gorgeous. It's like a Bakewell tart type um, of smell. Oh, that is lovely. That is so lovely. That's a proper little lid look. So yeah, so that's a chocolate cherry gin. There you go. Number four up the top here as well. And we've got, what's this? Oh, is it lemon? This is a Lauchy Lemon Decadence Gin. Lauchy Lemon Decadence Gin. Oh my gosh, look. I absolutely love lemons. I'm gonna have to have a sniff. <laughs> I'm gonna sniff them all actually. Oh, that is so nice. That is, I just wanna lick it. Oh, this is, <laughs> this is so nice. Oh my gosh. It just smells like, just smells like a normal gin, but it's got like a slice of lemon in it. That's what it smells like and that's what it reminds me of. So that's day number four. This is such a lovely advent calendar. If you're a gin lover, that is, isn't it? And I think for the price, it's not too bad as well. I, I've seen some other advent calendars out there and it's, um, you usually get little mixes. So you've got flavorings to put in gin and you might have like a, like a mini bottle of gin just for day 25 but I think this is lovely because you're getting a proper gin every single day <laughs> it's just nice and it's different as well it doesn't say anything about the drinks whether we'd be getting duplicates or unless they're all completely different so I'll find out as we go along so what are we on now number day number five so we're on day number five over here and we've got oh fresh rain gin fresh rain gin it just looks like blueberries oh my gosh 
that's what the bottle looks like so let's have a sniff of what fresh rain gin smells like I don't know my nose is getting so close to the actual gin oh I can't describe it I can't it smells like gin but there is definitely another smell there almost like a woody sort of smell I'm not too sure wow 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 it doesn't give you any information about it maybe it does on the website yeah maybe it does I'm not too sure but that's number five so number six uh, over here and we've got what's this we've got a bush tucker gin <laughs> and this is chill grove spirits a bush tucker gin oh my gosh i don't know what that is <laughs> A bush trucker. What's a bush trucker supposed to smell like? Ooh, it smells a bit like a perfume. <laughs> I don't know what it is. Oh, I keep doing it. I have lots of gin on my nose. It just smells like normal gin. Normal gin. I can't smell anything different. But I am aware I'm sniffing all of these, so they might all be mixing. Plus, I'm getting bits on my nose as well. So, a bush trucker gin. <laughs> Number seven. Oh, down here. And we've got... Ooh, what's this? It looks like a big lemon. And this is Yuzo. Yuzu gin. Yuzu gin. I'm not sure. Yuzu gin. Just looks like a big lemon, doesn't it? Oh, I don't know. It smells like it's got a little bit of vanilla in it. Oh, it's nice. It is really nice, but it smells like a little bit of vanilla. Is it? Oh, I'm doing it again. My gosh. <laughs> very subtle, very subtle, but it does smell a little bit of vanilla. So I'm assuming it's got these in it, berries and lemons or whatever, but um, hmm, vanilla that I can smell. So there's that. Number eight at the top here. Ugh, can't get it out. What have we got here? Ooh, rhubarb triangle gin. <laughs> I don't know why it's triangle. It's rhubarb triangle gin. Oh my gosh, full on smell there. That is really, really nice. And it's, yeah, it's just rhubarb. Rhubarb. That's all I can smell is rhubarb and it is really lovely. I might save that actually. What day was that? Number eight, was it? To try it tonight. <laughs> I'm going to have one. I'm going to have one. So rhubarb gin, which is gorgeous. So number nine then, where are we? Over here. And we've got a moonshot gin. A moonshot gin. It looks like the packaging is so cute, isn't it? It is gorgeous. So moonshot, I haven't got a clue. This video is going to be boring if you're expecting me to describe smells because I'm not very good at it. Yes, it's nice. No, it's not. Although all of them seem to be really nice so far, but some are more stronger than others, like that rhubarb one and um, the lemon one. Oh, that's a lovely one as well. But I don't know what moonstone, moon, moon, a moonshot gin. I think berries, blueberries, maybe I can smell a bit of blueberry. It doesn't smell like a normal plain gin, but I can't tell you what it is. <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> Number 10, up here. Oh my god, oh, that's a bit Oh, it's pretty. Oh, Neroli gin. I love, the, I absolutely love Neroli. Absolutely love it. I've loved it as a perfume from when I was a teenager. I did aromatherapy course and yeah, I remember falling in love with that oil. So I ended up buying a perfume of it and oh, I can't wait to try that and to sniff it. If it does smell like Neroli, I'm sure it does. Yeah. Oh, it is so nice. It is so nice. No, that is lovely. That is really lovely. So you've got Neroli gin there. Number 11, down the bottom here. Oh, we've got, what's this? Swedish rose gin from Herno Distillery. That's what the bottle looks like. Let's have a sniff. If it smells of roses. No, it just smells like a really nice gin. <laughs> it just smells like a really nice gin. No, I'm not keen on rosy smells. I don't like it really. So it doesn't smell like that anyway. So that's number 11. So number 12 over here. Oh, we've got, oh, it's a dark one. What is this? Spit roasted pineapple gin. Spit. <laughs> is that? It's a darker gin. So spit roasted pineapple gin. Oh, that is quite strong. That is quite strong. Oh my word. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's 100% smells of pineapples. It almost smells like it's non-alcoholic, which could be dangerous. <laughs> 
So a pineapple one, a pineapple gin. So number 13 up here. Oh, what have we got here? Oh, an orange one. Orange, chocolate orange, chocolate orange gin. Wow, 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 wow. <laughs> oh, that is so lovely. So, so lovely. Oh, that is so nice. It's not super sweet either, but it is just, yeah, it smells <laughs> anyway. It smells just really lovely definitely chocolatey orange like a terry's chocolate orange type smell oh wow <laughs> so there's that number 14 i don't know where you are up here oh that's this one. Ooh, yuletide gin i love the actual designs the pictures and everything it's so pretty hopefully you can see then it's not blurry but yeah yuletide gin oh that smells like a oh what's the body shop the body shop Christmassy hand cream peppermint candy type smell not super strong so you might not pick that up straight away but that's the first thing that came to my mind that is really really lovely i'm saying that to them all aren't i i'm just excited <laughs> excited for the gin number 15 here and this here and we've got what's this we got grapes gin grapes gin renegade london wine Ooh, okay grapes gin <laughs> hopefully you can see there what i'm trying to say renegade london wine what's this darker one what is this one like then that does smell more like a wine actually that does smell more like and it's like a um like a rosy sort of colour but it does smell more like wine but it also smells like a perfume as well like an aromatherapy perfume oh how odd how odd but yeah that's as far as I can describe that one <laughs> so there's that number 16 up the top here oh a pink one we've got a cherry gin and this one has actually won the world gin awards and it's the world's best flavoured gin oh wow so a cherry gin I've never tried a cherry gin. I've tried pink gin, raspberry gin. Um, I can't think what other gins I've tried now. And I've gone to like weather spoons and things like that. And they do like specials sometimes. But um, no, I've never tried a cherry one. Oh, that is nice. That is really nice. It's not too overpoweringly sweet either. But um, I'm not sure what it tastes like. But the smell is really lovely. So an award winning gin. So there's that. Number 17 down here and we've got what's this oh it's a creepy one beware of the woods gin <laughs> it's got like little red riding hood there so it looks like no they're all starting to mix into one they're all starting to mix into one i can't pinpoint an actual sort of distinct smell except for gin <laughs> like normal gin if you are familiar with that boutique gin then yeah you will know all about it but if not apologies <laughs> apologies but yeah it looks like so far then we are getting a different gin every single day of the month which is brilliant which is really good so what was that number 17 so number 18 down here and we've got what's this one? Oh, candy floss no a oh, big dipper gin that's the first thing I saw toffee apple and candy floss that would make a gorgeous gin wouldn't it so yeah big dipper gin look at the pattern there the picture is cute isn't it it's lovely it's a nice smell and it is different to a normal gin but again I can't describe it sorry if I can find out any information about these gins individually what they are like what's in them etc if I can find like a website I'll seek that out and I'll pop it down in the description so you can have a bit of a read for further information that way but yeah so there's that number 19 down here and we've got a what's this finger lime gin finger lime oh anything citrusy and I love it We've had oranges and lemons so far. So let's see if this one is smells of limes. Oh, it's nice. Yeah, yeah, yeah. very subtle. It's not strong, but it is it's definitely, you can smell it. Oh, it's lovely. So finger lime gin. Only a few more to go. Number 20 down here. Smoked rosemary gin. So it looks like there. 
Oh, that is so nice. That is really lovely. Yeah, definitely a rosemary smell. So there's that. So we've got a smoked rosemary gin. That's lovely. 21 down here. Salt Marsh Gin, Green Sand Ridge Distillery. Looks like there. Ooh, that is, yeah, that is, it's, I think it's a salty smell. I think, I think. Yeah, they're very subtle, very, very subtle. I think the fruity ones are quite strong, which is nice, which is nice. But these ones that don't really tell you exactly what they are, Salt Marsh Gin they're very subtle they do smell obviously like gin but there's a little bit of a difference than normal gin uh, i'm not too sure what's inside it but uh, none of them so far have been like oh no i can't drink that none of them have been like that which is really good considering we are now on number 22 which is here we've got a pink one and this is a proper pink gin <laughs> someone sticking their tongue out so a proper pink gin this is going to be probably similar to the ones I have tried. Yeah, it's nice. Really nice. It does remind me of some of the gins I've tried before. So yeah, a proper pink gin. <laughs> Number 23 up here. And we've got, oh, it's a dark one. It's coffee, is it? Cold brew coffee gin. Oh my gosh. There. Oh, that is so nice. That is really, really nice. I love coffee smells, coffee cakes, actual coffee. <laughs> I just love coffee smells. Oh yeah, that is really nice. It smells sort of deep and dark and yeah, just like a nice deep coffee sort of smell, but with the, you can smell the gin in there as well. Oh wow, so cold brew coffee gin. So that's day number 23. And lastly, number 24 is here, Dead King Gin. <laughs> and it's got Tutankhamun on there. I'm assuming it's Tutankhamun. So Dead King Gin. <laughs> it's nice. It is nice. It smells a little bit different to normal gin. I can't pick out anything. I can't pick out anything. A Dead King Gin. So that's day number 24. So those are all the drams of gins. I popped them all back in here. So I'm going to keep them, if I can, until December. It's only a couple of weeks to go. But inside this calendar, it contains 24 30ml bottles of gin. They are all different types of gin. They're 46% volume as well. So they're really, really chuffed to have this calendar. It's a little bit different. And yeah, from the ones I've seen anyway, I'd love to know your thoughts. What do you think of this calendar? Have you bought a boozy calendar? for this year all your thoughts and opinions and things i'd love to know so please comment down below i hope you enjoyed watching if you did it'd be lovely if you give me a big thumbs up and if you haven't done so already please subscribe to my channel for lots more videos to come so i'm just going to go off now with my rhubarb gin and then i'm going to see if i've got any tonic downstairs hopefully i have and i'll just pop up quickly just to tell you what it's like I'll be back. I'm embarrassed by this, but I've actually got lemonade in here. I can't drink gin straight. And we haven't got any tonic, which is what I normally have in my gin. So I wanted to try it. So I've got a little bit of lemonade in there. So I've got the rhubarb gin. That would be so much nicer with tonic. So much nicer. With the lemonade, it's quite sweet. I don't like having lemonade in my gins anyway. But um, no, that is so lovely. That is so, so nice. I will drink it, but it is quite sweet. But it would be better. I know it would be 100 times better with the tonic. So yeah, so I'm going to have to get some tonic in the house. So there you go. So I hope you enjoyed watching and I'll speak to you soon. Take care. Bye.